Okay, we're going to back once again. Now, I actually forgot to include this in my previous video, and this was talking about the themes. I should have really showed you this when I actually showed you the Sense 7, but I'm just going to show you the themes, I'm going to show you how it works, etc. So let's have a quick look at it. Right, so first of all, let's jump into the actual app drawer, jump straight into themes. And as you can see, I've got, there's quite a few themes actually pre-installed here. I downloaded this Interspace one, which I will show you in a moment or two. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to go straight to it. And then what you do is you click apply. And you've got to do no thanks or a yes. Obviously click yes. We're happy with that one. So it's just going to do its thing, going to apply it. It takes a couple of seconds or so. And there we go, as you can see, it's now been applied. So hopefully you can see straight away, the buttons at the bottom have completely changed. So if I go home, you should hopefully see, and it gets the applications up and running. See the bottom buttons now? It's got some funky looking space looking ones. And also the shit, the back button, the home button, and the multitasking button have completely changed. I got to admit, that was pretty damn cool. Going to the app drive, as you can see, all the HTC applications have all changed. Obviously the default, uh, like, Facebook etc is not going to change because they're third party applications. So I'm just going to go back into the themes. I'm just going to go back out of there. And I'm going to show you how to download the themes. So you can go to recommended. And these are all the ones that they're saying. These are pretty damn cool. Which one do you want to download? So let's have a quick look. I like this one. This red one looks pretty cool. So I'll click download. I'm going to let it download. It takes a minute or so depending on the internet connection. And uh, we'll come back once it's downloaded. Right, so this theme's just about downloaded. It's only 7.7 .7 megabytes, so depending on your internet connection, it's not going to take too long. And we can apply it straight away. So I'm like, yep, I click apply, I'm happy with that one. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, it's all nice and red. Going back out of there, as you can see here, it's, a, it's kind of gone back more to a default style, with a slight different twist. The back button, the home button, and the multitasking button are completely different. Jumping into it, it's all red now. Jumping into the individual apps, as you can see now, it's like more of a orangey kind of colour. And you'll notice it's all consistent across it. Ugh, that should be white, it looks really... Uh. But it's more consistent now. Which, I've got to admit, I like this, I like the way it works. Nice blue kind of on the uh, music application. But that's the themes on the HTC One M9. I do like the system, it works, it's fast, and that's pretty much all you can ask for. If I do click back out of here, you can actually just see the different options. So you've got recommended themes, wallpapers, icons, sounds, and fonts. And then these are your personal stuff. So the themes you already downloaded are going to be these ones here. If you're going to sound, you can actually download a new sound pack for it, which is pretty damn cool. So, as you know, phones nowadays are kind of about personalization. Now, the phone itself is not personal, but what's the software? If the software is personal, you're going to feel like it's more personal towards you. So both HTC and Samsung have pushed the bar out and have done a lot better job at theming this year than I've, I've seen in the past. But anyway, people, that is it. That is a quick look at the HTC themes engine. We're in on the HTC One M9. Yeah. Anyway, people, if you've got any questions you know what to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, at SamJPuller. If you're new to the channel, please do hit subscribe. It is very much appreciated. And go on, give it a like while you're at it. Why not? Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.